Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing um, the next Disney tutorial, which is Rapunzel. I'm so excited to do this look. I think this is going to be super fun. I think Rapunzel's colors are so beautiful because there's no other princess that really is fully like lavender, pink, and purple. And then we have Sleeping Beauty, which is pink. We have Ariel with a little bit of purple in there. But other than that, we really don't have like a purple colored princess so that's what we're doing today i love purple it's one of my favorite colors to use on the eyes i think it's so flattering especially because i have brown eyes so it kind of works well <laughs> so if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave i upload videos almost every single day so um ring that bell give me a thumbs up subscribe it's like 11 o'clock at night right now it's the day before my birthday Logan got me this really pretty bracelet. Look at that. Oh my god. Has white opals, pink sapphires, and rubies in it. So that's really cool. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm like really tired, but I really wanted to film this video because I think I thought this was going to be like super super fun so without further ado let's get started if my eyes look a little red I'm really sorry I was kind of itching them a little bit because they were kind of feeling a little irritated and it's been a long day so that's why yeah it looks like I'm stoned but I promise I'm not okay so I've already primed my eyes and first I think the first palette that really came to my mind when I was you know setting up for this video and whatnot was the morphe 39s palette this is so pretty has a bunch of beautiful pinks and purples in here and then these large pans are like creamy like cream to powder shades so that is even cooler so i was kind of thinking like maybe go like mainly into these and then branch out elsewhere if needed but I do want a nice lavender for for the crease and so I know that I'm going to be doing that from a different palette so for the lavender color I'm going into my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette you guys all know that I love this palette use this in many Disney tutorials. Um, I'll have my whole playlist linked down below for you. The first color I think I'm gonna go into is the shade Gumdrop, which is this super beautiful color right here. I'm gonna take your average crease brush right here, get out that excess and applying this right to our crease. I'm gonna go back into my super awesome 39S, which is the, what is it called? Such a gem. I'm gonna go in with a uh, Morphe M433 brush, and I'm gonna take this purple shade right here. I'm not gonna go too deep with the purples, just because I want to also, you know, focus on like the lightness of her vibe. So I'm just kind of deepening up my crease a little bit right here. I'm being sure, I'm making sure to bring this darker color all the way in. Because I haven't played around with it like too much. I kind of want to do something sparkly on the lower lash line. One of my favorite palettes of literally all time is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. Now this is legit destroyed. <laughs> so destroyed. I'm just gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna go into the purple shade right here called Celestial. I'm just gonna brush this on my lower lash line. Oh that's fun. Shimmers are so nice. This is what we have so far. Very, very purple. Now I'm kind of, I'm leaning towards going back in Jawbreaker. Yeah, 
I think I'm going to go back into Jawbreaker and I'm going to take the shade Snack, which is so pretty. It's one of the few shimmers in this palette. A lot of this palette is matte. It's not a bad thing, though. I'm not saying it is. But I'm just going to apply Snack all over my lid. This is just very brightening on the lid. And I really enjoy that. I will probably deepen it up just a touch. But as of right now, this is what I'm doing. I think I'm going to deepen that up. I'm going back into the Morphe 39S palette. Okay, so I'm going to go into this like cream to powder shade right here. It's the third one in from the left if you're looking at the palette. I'm just going to kind of apply this like towards the outer part of my lid. Ooh, that's fun. So we also want, I also want to incorporate some gold for her golden hair, but I didn't want to go straight out like, like yellow gold. So I'm going in with this Too Faced Sweet Spot Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. It's super pretty. And so I want to put some of this on the uh, um, inner part of my eye right here. I want to be super careful because I don't want to go overboard. So I'm just going to use the very side of the applicator. It's like that. I dot, I like kind of blended out my finger a little bit. I don't want to go like too intense just because that's obviously not going to be the main focus um, of the look. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. It's a little extra sparkle. I'm going back to my favorite Jawbreaker palette. <laughs> and I'm going into the shade Virgin, which is a really nice matte white right here. And I'm just highlighting my brow bone. On the other side of it, I'm just going to take very lightly, I'm going into the shade Jawbreaker, which is this white with kind of like a yellow um, undertone to it. It's a shimmer. And I'm going to very lightly kind of stamp my inner corner with this just to kind of give it a little bit of some brightness. So we have that little bit of a yellow shift to it, but we also have, you know, and but we also have an accent on the purples. So going back into my Morphe palette, sorry, it's a lot of a lot of juggling or whatever. Um, I'm gonna go into this deeper purple right here, which is the tip of a of a smaller brush. And I'm just going to stamp that in my outer corner. Looking back at it, I do really want to add a little bit of dimension to it. Just like that. Ooh, I like this look a lot. I'm going with my ColourPop liquid eyeliner and this is the black shade. Oh my gosh, I'm zoomed up so close right now. I'm just gonna do a very, very thin line across my lash line. More to enhance the lashes more than anything else. Just kind of like that, where it like enha enhances the root of your lashes. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Oh my gosh, it looks really good. For mascara, I'm going to go with the Mascara Revolution by Makeup Revolution. It has a Look at that chunky, chunky, chunky brush. That's ridiculous. I think that eyeliner really helped um, accentuate those lashes. Now, Rapunzel kind of has a pinky side to her as well. So I'm going to be doing a pinky nude lip. So for the lipstick, I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquidified Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Cell, which is a nice pinky peachy nude. Just kind of like that, just something to accentuate more than anything. This is just something more to like complement the eyes more than anything. I like that a lot. Wow. Now for a gloss, you guys know I'm a gloss fiend, so I always need to have some sort of gloss on my lips. This is the Too Faced Tutti Frutti um, Comfort Lip Glaze in the, in the shade Fruitcake. So this is a really nice pinky nude. It really goes along with it. Did not mean to like 
double dip with a Too Faced, but <laughs> there we go. I'm feeling very Rapunzel-like today. So for really any of my tutorials, you um, I have said this before, but I feel like I should keep reiterating it every once in a while, and that is if you see something that I have that, say, is not available anymore or maybe you can't really afford, you know, the Jawbreaker palette or the Norvina palette, use what you have. You know, you don't have to go out and purchase everything that I use. And I feel like it's kind of an unwritten rule that like, oh, well, you know, so-and-so recommended this, so I gotta go get it now. And that's totally not it at all. So if you, you know, if, if you see something and you're like, oh my God, it looks amazing, I gotta have it. But you don't have to go out and be like, hey, well, she used the Too Faced glitter, it means I have to use the Too Faced glitter. That's totally not true. I mean, if you want to use something that you found from Milani or Stila or anything else, go right ahead. Like there is no rules with makeup. So that that is just why I'm saying it, just let getting it out there and letting you guys know you don't have to get everything that I have. So yeah, use what you got. If you want to spend money, go ahead, but don't feel obligated to. Like not at all. Be creative. Do your own representation. Do your own interpretation of this look. I'm going to zoom you guys up close just so you can kind of see what it looks like. So there we go. Even got light purple earrings on for the occasion. <laughs> that was actually not planned. So we got this right here. I think this really brings a lot of dimension to the eyes. I love the shimmer on the purple. Love a little bit of golden champagne right here. I think the lips make a really nice... Um, little touch to it. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really impressed with this look. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I am up upload almost every single day. I have so many fun videos coming, so many fun videos on my channel already. So go check them out. Um, it means so much to me. And when I'm filming this, it's the 26th of July. My birthday is the 27th. So give it a thumbs up if you want i mean by the time this video is posted it's probably after my birthday but yeah i just <laughs> i'm so excited for my birthday i love my birthday every year i think it's cool so yeah logan got me this i showed you already but look at that isn't that pretty oh my gosh so oh my gosh so uh, again thanks so much for watching and let me know your favorite princess slash Disney character in the in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!